a question. What's your thoughts on universal health care? Uh, I'm against universal health care. Why? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, look at the many, many trials in universal health care we have in this country. Waiting lines, waiting lists. Right now, there are, it's a year and a half waiting list to get a prostate cancer surgery in the United Kingdom right now. Unless you're in the royal family. Right, and by the way, this, by the way, it's a huge... It's a huge issue right now uh, in Britain where the king gets like immediate prostate cancer surgery and the average weight line w for a prostate cancer in, um, in the United Kingdom is a year and a half to get surgery. It's not a year and a half here in America, but we're getting there. Universal health care sounds good, but it lowers the accessibility. It increases weight lines. It increases costs. Um, we're prop we're and by the way, we're already close to a universal health care system right now. Um, you can just walk into an emergency room and you will get care. It's not good care, but you will get care. Okay. And Medicaid is a form of universal health care. Okay. Then what Medicaid, are oh. which is health care for the poor. Go ahead. Then what are your thoughts on people who don't have a lot of money, who break their arm or have to go to the hospital? The hosp ambulance costs a ton of money yep. just to be sent to the hospital. One night in a bed is insane amount yep. of money. That's right. So what are your thoughts on people? What are they going to do? What are people like who are underrepresented, don't have money, have worked their asses off every single day, and yet they have to give up their houses, give up loans just so they can get basic necessities? Isn't yeah. that like what universal health care is aimed to like mitigate? It, it, it is aimed. You're right. It is. But it doesn't mitigate. Here's my agreement with the advocates of universal health care. We need to go after the hospital lobby. Okay. And here, let, let's start with what we can achieve. If you go to a hospital, they'll never give you a menu of prices. You have no idea what anything costs. Do you agree? There's no transparency. If you go to Chipotle, they'll tell you how many calories are in your burrito and exactly how much thing caught. It is secrecy of pricing. The hospital lobbies in this country need to be crushed. And there are these private public partnerships that raise prices endlessly that have destroyed lives. Medical debt is a huge problem in this country. Um, and so, yeah, the, the solution was not, you know, trying to have people compulsory have to take on health insurance through universal health care. It's a lot deeper and more sophisticated than that. But then can't you make the argument to say get rid of private health care in general so you could publicize if it that, and make more regulations? If, if you if were correct, the the, does the VA have a good product? I don't know. It's awful. Okay. The VA is the Veterans Affair, Veterans, Veterans Administration. Any veteran will tell you the VA is a joke. And it is pure universal health care. The doctors work for the government. The practitioners work for the government. They have their own owned and operated hospitals. And they are considered any vet who has a choice to go to the local community hospital or the VA will almost always go to the local community hospital and try to skip the VA. The second is the uh, hospital system on Native American reservations. It's a disaster. It's pure universal health care and the quality is low. So there's, there's not a good solution. We're probably heading closer to Germany where you have single payer on one side and then a private system for those that can afford it. That's probably where we're headed. Okay. I'm not saying it's a good thing. It's just probably where we're, where we're headed. So. Okay. Then can't you make the argument again that the reason that we have such bad public health care is because private health care has such a strong hold on society and American society? Well, we, part of American health care is awful. Part of it is great. The problem is mo most people can't access the great parts. So what is great about American health care? We have the most innovations. We have the most sophisticated sur life-saving surgery. If you have a heart attack right now and you have to go, you know, go into the cat room here locally, they'll probably save your life, right? The standard of care here, that's not the case, by the way, in like Southeast and Asian countries. Like you might live, you might not, okay? The problem is cost and accessibility. Um, and so the question is, do you want to sacrifice the quality of our care for accessibility? And if the answer is yes, then be ready to wait five and a half hours in, in a, which, by the way, is already the case in a lot of hospitals here in California. Okay. Okay. Interesting.